Right, let's take a look at Rusted Fang Station, which uh, by Dale C. McCoy, which gives us a space station uh, that's actually based on an old starship. So let's dig in here and I'll show you what caught my attention. So let's start down here. Can I zoom in, please? Please let me zoom in. There we go. So Rusted Fang Station is a place that characters can call home. There is accommodation on this station. It's not just a refueling point or a cargo transfer place. It's a livable, I suppose you'd call it a small town with a lot of traffic. It's got a nice diner on there, as it says here. It's even got a shooting range. Um, you can repair your ship and you can have your own rented rooms. And as the author says here, it was inspired by Babylon 5. So as you can imagine, there's going to be a whole bunch of factions coming in here. So as you see up here, the facility is run by a corporation that caters to mercenary crews. That itself is fantastic. So your, your player characters could, of course, be a mercenary crew or they could just be traders who happen to operate out of here. But that's going to give you an awful lot of possible drama. Imagine you have two different mercenary companies who basically come here looking for jobs. They end up fighting on two different sides in the same conflict. And then after that, both those factions come back here. Both the mercenary factions come back here and they're meeting up, having just fought each other. Wow, you could have some exciting times with that. OK, so the station is designed for a group looking to take an armed job. So again, Tough people who have tough jobs come here looking for tough nuts to do the jobs for them. And maybe your PCs fit into that. Uh, okay, so we've got another look at some art here. This is looks like it's the same ship from the cover. Uh, it looks like it's been reversed. I, I particularly like this. Obviously, th these like engines on the wings back here, they give it that sort of military look, which I really like. And this prow on the front of the ship, it's... It's almost seagoing type prow, and it looks like these are the uh, windscreens to the cockpit. It's just really quite inspiring. I like it. It looks like it could, you know, jab in and do some damage. It might even be a rammable hull. But there we go. So let's have a look here. So it says it's actually an old rusted out, so pretty ancient, I imagine, Varg frigate. It's old and it's patched, so you're starting to get some mood for what this station is like. It's all patched together. It's not all white, perfectly white hallways. There's going to be, you know, depending on what paint they could get, you'd have all different colours up and down the place. And over here, the station orbits a second most populated planet in the system, Carweiss, or Carweiss. Hmm. So you can see it's not just a generic station that you could plop anywhere, although you could move it where you want. This is giving you background material as well. So you can make it feel like a lived place with the uh, information you're given in here. Let's zoom in. What did I see here? Um, the first deals made at the station were for the safe return of numerous low level mine workers. So again, you're getting a history for the ship. This actually feeds into people who could end up being the crew on there as well. Um, more than two dozen mercenary outfits, okay, and other guns for hire. They stop at the station once or twice a month. So there's a lot of traffic here. There's more people who come in once a week or maybe once every six months. There's a lot of traffic and a lot of return visitors. So that's a great opportunity for people looking for maybe the, a mercenary group just needs to pick up a few extra hands and your PCs go along with them. That could be really quite cool. Um, so here we start breaking down what's on the various decks. So deck one, docking bay dominates it. Uh, it can take a 50 ton ship, so obviously that's just like a lighter or something coming in. But that dis does give you access to all the facilities. So if you need to, you have a small ship, it needs to come inside, you know, get out of the vacuum in order to be repaired. That's the place for it. Um, and here we go, we get a character name here. So Antoine Rodriguez has been the head mechanic on the station shop. So again, you're getting background material, not just raw stats for a ship here. Uh, more businesses operate their business out of the dining area. So there's a lot of social interaction. So you can imagine that. Um, uh, let's try and think of something off the back of my head. Maybe you've got some dodgy credits that need washing. Uh, you can probably find someone like that down in the bar. So there you go. OK, starboard side of the commercial zone is a marksman shooting range. And it does go on to say that they've armoured the side of the ship just in case there. Um, 
And there is a Varg who is the owner of that range. So again, you've got different races on this ship. Again, that adds to that Babylon 5 kind of feel, I guess. Uh, and there are a number of small shops in the commercial zone. Okay. Uh, so we move on to deck three called the hotel deck. So obviously your PCs could come here and rent a few staterooms. Um, and we get some background information again about the security here. So he was met with a terrible stench in Saranoff's body. What? And Saranoff's body <laughs> in his body. Hmm. Let's not go there. Um, Station operations is on deck four. OK, we've got a nice bit of art showing the ship. Looks like it's actually possibly in motion there. OK, uh, deck five. Few rooms with uh, amazing view. So luxury rooms, that's what we're looking at. And now we sort of go into background material. Um, patrons that you might find on the ship. Let's dust over these. A wine mark winemaker in great distress. That sounds interesting. Now this caught my uh, it caught my eye. <laughs> Look at this image. Uh, so Melinda and Stanix Rath, rainbow vomiting distress call. Now I thought what the hell have, have we gone completely gonzo here but no this this character this brother in the mask here when you read on stats for the ship by the way when you read on past there and you go past some of the deck plans you've got in here which uh, let's just zoom in so you can see all the staterooms have got beds little iris hatches as well i like that that's a nice touch looks like a viewing gallery at the front um but it goes on to um explain what that rainbow is all about so this is like a scenario. So a call comes in on the Rusted Fang Station from Melinda Stanix asking for help. So that was the character throwing up rainbows we saw earlier. More deck plans. And here we go. So her brother, the lady throwing up rainbows, he tries to help by making her hologram vomit rainbow. So it's not actually a character throwing up rainbows. So again, we go into a scenario uh, and of course the deck plans and then it just rules on to advertising and the back cover back cover blurb so there you go this is rusted fang station which is actually a starship so it could move potentially depends on the current status of the drives so this station could perhaps even jump between various star systems that could be quite interesting actually it's on i don't know it's carrying it's a place for mercenaries to meet, and if it's moving between various star, star stations on a, uh, a routine, you know, every three weeks it returns back here sort of thing, that could be useful. could put it in different environments, and it could even visit the star system where your characters already are. You could just slot this station in there as part of its normal rotation through various systems. Anyway, possibly... Even if you don't like the mercenary idea of it, the fact that you've got all the deck plans for it and details of characters who could be crewing it makes this wonderful. If you like what you've seen, there's a link for it in the description below.